Hello engineers, I am Miraj Ansari. I'm back with the another tutorial that is exercise number 33 and 34. In the previous lectures, we have created these two exercises. Now we are going to the next exercise that is 33 and 34. So in these uh, exercises, we are going to learn some extra tips and tricks. Okay, so that I will share with you in uh, in a few minutes. Before starting this session, I would like to request you all that if you are watching this channel first time, if, if you are watching this video first time, then like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you. Let's begin. So we are going to start from this tutorial. Okay. And this exercise number 33. So first of all, we don't uh, uh, going to set the unit limit and all these uh, basic settings. Uh, if you don't want to how uh, if you don't know how to set the unit limits and what is the initial settings for creating these types of objects, then watch the previous lectures properly. You will understand all the things. Okay. So let's have a look. We are going to create two circles of radius. You can see 22 and 30. Okay. So let's have a look. Uh, first of all, what we need to do, we need to select the color that is by, dip, by layer and here we have 0 0.30. Then press C for circle. Here you can see make the ortho mode on. As we can see that radius is given 22 and here you can see 30. Tick. Okay, then 22 is the radius. Zoom it little bit. And here you can see this circle is created from 5 mm upper side from this 22 radius. Okay, so so what to do here? Just press C for circle and track the center point and go upward direction. Type here 5 and radius is given 30. Okay, so just type here 30. Fine. Now here you can see the distance from this center to this center is 90. Press C for circle. I am going to track the this center point. Okay, just track 90 height and the diameter is given 20 and 12. Two circles we need. D for diameter 20 enter space to repeat the same command specify the center point d for diameter that is 12 okay here we have created four circles now what to do we need we need to create a vertical center line otherwise we must create the center line okay so here we have uh, center line okay so let's create it first of all what we need to do we need to color uh, select the color yellow and uh, here we have by layer and go to annotate and here we have the center select this and this finally done select this one and we are going to drag it little bit like this so we can see here we have okay now again we have to show you can see here one more center line we have to show here go to annotate mark and here we have the center mark so you can see both are neat and clean okay now what to do so we are going to create a line which is tangent to this circle as well as this circle so how could we create that line which is tangent to both the circles just uh, click here line uh, press shift and hold right click there and you can see tangent here we have tangent and again right click tangent here you can see done and now select this line and go to mirror select the first point of mirror line second point of mirror line and say no to it next thing is to create a line which is started from the quadrant of the circle and lie on the tangent of this circle okay so just l is the shortcut for line i'm going to start from this quadrant and here we have the tangent so again very very simple you know and now tr double space to trim all the unwanted you know curves 
delete it so here we have created now as we can see hidden line is given here so how could we break this line and convert that line into a hidden line how could we do that let's have a look first of all we need to break this line so which command we have to use here go to modify click here in down arrow option and here we have break at point option just select this option select the line and click wherever you want to break it from just click you have created a break let's do it again you know we have a continuous line here you can see now i am going to break this line at this point then go to modify here we have break it point select this line and click here now we have to convert this continuous line into a hidden line then how could we do that first of all by layer go to by layer other load go to load select anyone press h okay and say okay to it and then okay and now select this line and we have to select the line type here we have hidden done now we have to change the scale just select this line control plus one control plus one you can see here line type scale that is by default one just make it 0.5 so you can see the hidden line properly okay that's it and now here you can see this portion we have to create then we have to take a line at the angle of 45 degree and we're gonna mirror that line okay so just press l we are going to start from this point press tab type the angle that is 45 and now select this line m i for mirror first point of mirror line second point of mirror line and say no to it t r enter select this portion enter and we can trim it i'm sorry here we have to also trim them all and that's it this is the drawing all about okay i think this is clear now okay so let's create the second one in this tutorial uh, some of the students make mistake in this portion on creating this arc okay so how to make it correctly i'm going to share in a few minutes okay let's have a look so first of all all settings done this drawing we are going to start from the circle radius is 30 c for circle center radius is 30 you know and again what i am going to do we are going to take a polyline which can create a straight line segment arc segment and the combination of the two the so here you can see we have a straight line straight lines and arc okay so we have to use polyline because we don't have the center point of this arc so we must use polyline here okay so how could we do it correctly let's have a look carefully so select this polyline first start from this quadrant and tap the value 70 so here we have 7070 okay and now distance is 75 and angle from it will calculate the angle from here you, you can see it will like this so we have to create a line 75 length and angle 120 because total angle 180 minus 60 that would be 120 first of all tap here 75 press tab and we have to take 120 degree enter and now the trick comes here okay so some of the student are what they do actually select directly arc and here you can see make this ortho mode button on and they type directly 30 degree and 30 mm here 15 radius is given they think 
they type if they type 30 then it will come correctly but where is the uh, error let's have a look just let's see what happened when we type here directly 30 30 type here then enter and press space if we measure the radius of this arc then here you can see 15 point something something and here we can see 15 comma it, here it is coming but we can change press d for dimension style go to modify we can make it uh, period okay then okay then okay so that is not correctly that is not correct that is not exact what we want okay so how to create a correct arc here okay so let's have a look first of all what we need to do we need to create a line like this uh, actually it must be at the 90 degree here if we cal calculate the angle it must come 90 degree from here to here okay so this is the concept exactly where we usually make mistakes suppose we are going to create a polyline just uh, make ortho mode on uh, type here suppose 50 enter and go to arc and here we have here you can see the exact angle is coming that is i'm sorry that is 90 degree you can see here okay so it will follow every place in every place whenever we create this shape okay so just uh, here we must take same as i did before okay so let's have a look just delete it now take this polyline select from quadrant and 70 enter and 75 press tab that is 120 enter and here we are going to create an arc just click here arc make the ortho mode on and here you can see first of all we need to set the angle just press tab to set the angle that is 30 degree again press tab to type the value and you can see here angle is fixed now you can see angle is fixed now it is not changing its angle whenever i drag the mouse you know so it is fixed now okay so just here we have to type the value that is 30 and space to quit this command and let's check the radius here exactly what i need that's it so this is the concept in this drawing okay just uh, uh, you can practice it okay so just take a line that is tangent to both the circles how could we do that just press l and uh, t a n is the shortcut for tangent also so just and shift press hold down right click go to tangent and here we have tangents okay tr double space just trim it trim it we have created the outer boundary of this profile now we have to create this profile again the same concept we are going to use here the polyline we are going to start from this center point what is the dimension given that is 16 total then we are going to take an offset of 8 from the center line here we have 8 enter and the total length is make this ortho mode on that is 40 enter and here we have an arc the type the value that is 16 and line here we have and a for arc and here we have close you can see that is done and one more circle we need of diameter 60 sorry 6 diameter we need a circle here c for circle find out the center point d for diameter that is 6 and now here is one more concept is coming we have to apply i'm sorry we have to apply fillet that is radius uh, 35 and it must not trim these lines okay then what is the concept behind it just uh, click here in fillet tool go to radius so radius is given 35 enter if we directly select this line and this line it will create an um, uh, fillet uh, um, sorry it will create an arc but if we don't want to be trimmed these lines then what to do here whenever we select the fillet tool just select the radius and type the value that is 35 and here trim 
and yeah from here we, we can select no trim option so that it will not trim like this so here is the way of creating these two profiles two tutorials exercise 33 34 and that's it okay now let's apply the dimensions so let's begin uh, by layer and uh, one second so by layer select and first of all take the center mark here okay and center line which is already created yeah we don't need to apply here just delete it uh, yeah you can see we can increase like this and here you can see and that's all about it okay now let's apply the uh, dimensions radius you can see here 30 22 and that's all space 15 30 35 and uh, let's apply the distance linear dimensions from this to this here you can see select this point go to continue dimensions and here we have 5 it will create automatically the text here we have reset the text position like this you will get and uh, that's all about it okay and a diameter space bar to repeat the same command and that's all and let's let's apply here Forty seventy. Oops, we have to select this align tool so we can apply the dimension properly. If we select this one, then place it here a little bit and uh, linear dimension. Here we have just drag it out a little bit okay and that, that's all just diameter we have to show here six diameter and here we have created the exercise number 33 34 copy let's copy them select them all go to copy tool and here we have okay and now place it in a proper way So here we have created them all okay just uh, stretch to make them smaller little bit reduce the size of this texts text okay just double click here select them all make it 20 that's all about this drawing and that's all 33 34 just added the text 33 34 okay and that's the way of creating these drawings okay i hope everything is clear thank you for this session thank you for joining digital cat bye bye good day take care